Alright, in three, two, one, go. Oh, bro, that's so oh. sick. Oh. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day so far. Today we're going to be going to some sand dunes and I've never been to a sand dune this crazy before. It's both a beach and a sand dune so you've got all the water there, all this sand and apparently just goes on for ages. Did you ever eat sand when you were a baby? I used to go in the sand pit and just eat sand like all day. Like you know how I can't cook? Like I would actually make full on gourmet sand sandwiches. <laughs> I would just like go like osh osh and then like osh. How many shots do you want to get today? I would love to get like a really distant shot, maybe like on 105 mil, oh, really compress yeah. like the entire desert. Holy shit! Yo! What? Yes! Dude, look at that. This looks fake. This is amazing. Dude, this is has exceeded my expectations. Yeah. If you want to do stupid shit, the road rules do apply here. So if you get caught, it's like doing a burnout just in the middle of the road. If we go out really far, we should be good. Oh my god, this place is amazing. This does not feel real. Dude, does this feel real? No, the pictures and video doesn't do it justice. It feels like you're on another planet, man. Yeah. This is insane. 22 kilometers of just pure nature out here. We've just got the beach. Then there's sand, and then there's these huge sand dunes that just go on forever. Not only are we here, but we've got a Porsche Cayenne. <laughs> we've got a V8 all-wheel drive. So this is going to be some fun later. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's Joe the Ho here. Back with episode two. Now, you guys remember this. Whenever you go and talk to your lady, all you got to do is just go ahead and take her out to a beach and just say, Hey, girl, you want something to drink? And then what? I just realized I shouldn't say this. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the exact opposite of that KN snow shoot, isn't it? With the snow, it's a bit more clumpier and we were so able to flick it up. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that with the sand. In the new KN, I could turn the traction control off and I could tell the computer to do whatever. This one, there's a lot less option to tell. Well, there's no traction control off. Not that I can find, bro. Yeah. What about sport? The sun doesn't set for another four hours. Here, yeah. So you just got time. Yeah, we can plan some shots. We can go up to the sand dunes up there. We can get the car stuck. We got heaps yeah. of times. We got Wait, heaps. Of... Get the car stuck. Oh, sorry. What I meant was. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this shot where you get your shoe and you fill it up with sand and then you pour it out and then you get like a high shutter speed photo of all the sand coming out. I've actually been wanting to do that for a couple of years ago. I think I saw a photo ages ago when I was first starting photography. I'm like, that would be sick. So we're going to do that right now. Oh, look at my shoe. Oh, I reckon sand is just going to be in here forever now. Right, I, I want you to like tip it upside down from like where it is, like straight upside down. Yeah, yeah. All right, in three, two, one, go. Oh, bro, that's so oh. sick. Oh. Oh. It's like vomiting. Boy, it's like, like meh. So we're going to try and get a group shot of us all here with the car and the dunes in the background, but we didn't bring a tripod. I was so close to bringing my tripod. It was literally right there in the bag. I was like... No, we're not going to need a tripod. We're not going to do long exposures at sand dunes, but now you know. Now you know. Man, I might. Now I should have brought it. Liam on the boot, Joey on the bonnet, you on the ground, Lamont on the other side, and I'm on the other side of Lamont. Is it balancing on the Ronin? The Ronin is actually strong enough to be able to <laughs> handle more. So, like, as long as they just get it roughly balanced, yeah. it's not going to be there for forever. Okay, you hear that beeping right now? Yeah. It means that there's something seriously wrong with the Ronin and you shouldn't keep doing this. So we got to do this like fast. Yeah, right, we've got to hurry up with this shot because apparently the Ronin's broken. Quick. Hurry up. It's going to go up. Oh! Get it, get it, go back, go back. Oh shit, it fell in the thing. Oh shit, it fell down. No. No. Oh. Oh. That, oh, oh, it's all in the thing. No! Oh, yeah, tip it out. What the? Oh, hold on, hold on. Tip it down. Tip it out. Oh my god. Oh. It does bumper. On it in three, two, one. Now. <sighs> the screen literally like hit this thing and just like forced oh. it down. But I think we're still good. 
There's no traction control on the car. Dude, surely there's traction control off. Even my car has it. It's 20 years old. Oh, no, it's that. What? Whoa, yeah. What? We found it. What? Yeah. Holy shit. Traction, baby. Dude. Woo. <laughs> Shooting in the sand was something that I've never done before. This is one of those places that I've wanted to go for quite a while now. So it's good to finally go. The interesting thing about sand is when you're taking photos of it, there's all these particles. It's made up of little, I don't know I'm trying to explain what sand is. You know what I mean? There's just a lot of particles. I wanted there to be backlighting from the sun so that you could see each individual little piece of sand. So the sun was behind me, which meant that the light would shine through the sand. And then as I poured it over, Mike shot this photo. The shutter speed was one eight thousandth of a second. You want to be able to capture everything without any motion blur. I don't know who was driving or who took the photos, but one of us got this photo here. You can just see all of the sand just being flung up everywhere. It sort of looks like the car's just coming out of this huge dust storm, which is really cool. Then we got the group shot here. It's funny, we don't usually get a group shot of all the boys because one of us usually taking the photo and then as the sun set it was getting really low and we had this really nice silhouette shot of the car if you live near a beach you can literally go out and do that sand photography thing like it's so easy but it gives a really cool effect if you do end up going out and doing it tag me on instagram at seven zero so i can see your photos we've been traveling heaps in the past couple of days like we've been around brisbane and around the gold coast and then we came back for like a couple of days and then we had to fly out to perth in australia to go give the sony a7r mark 4 we like we gave that to the winner then we flew back and we did that all in one day so like that was just hectic i'm keen to do a lot more creative stuff like that's just what i've been liking doing recently if you did like this video you know leave a like help me out by hitting subscribe and as always don't think just do